In this video, I'm going to make the ladybug shell for Mini Tento. Mini Tento is a small version of the 250 pound robot Mega Tento. The lid goes up and down, captures the opponent, and then grinds them up inside. It's a combat robot. Um, but for Mini Tento, using this drive chassis that I built earlier, I don't have a ladybug. They don't make one. So I need to make one myself. I uh, found this old can of expanding foam. I'm going to just spray it in the shape of a ladybug and then shave it off, put some, I have some like spackle, um, put that over it and then vacuum form it. I need a thin plastic shell and that's what vacuum forming does. So you have a form and then you heat up a thin sheet of plastic, you drop it over the form and a vacuum will suck all the air out from underneath and so that plastic molds exactly to the shape of your form. Okay, so the rough shape is about ready, and now I'm gonna put on the spackle. I thought it'd be fun to get the one that's pink, and then when it's white, it should be dry. Um, so let's see if it works. been putting more layers of spackle on and sanding it and it looks really good and then I come in the next day and there's lots of cracks all over it um, so you can see there it's just not gonna look pretty when it's vacuum formed you're gonna see all those marks and it's gonna be terrible um, I instead of throwing it out I'm just gonna cover it in spray paint and see if it covers up the cracks so uh, let's see if it works <laughs> Well, that was a good first attempt, um, although, you know, it's quite ugly and terrible, so I'm not gonna use it, but um, I did learn that putting spackle over foam is not really good. It keeps cracking, the foam's expanding, so the spackle cracks. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try it again with a different material. So next time, part two, gonna use plaster.